Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get the custom from on your PSP after you make your magic memory stick. Okay, what you'll need is a battery. I got that. Official battery. Nothing fake. Give them a PSP. Daytail service mode tools, what I'll be showing you how to use today. And simple, easy to use. 30 bucks online. I bought it because I didn't have a PSP with custom firmware to use to make my Pandora battery. PSP slim or fat. I'm using a slim and a magic memory stick. Video, got it already set up. Boom. Now, let's begin. Take your battery, plug it in. Simple like that. Press the button, done. Right is for regular battery, left is Pandora, service mode tool, jig kick, whatever you call it, either way, it still works. What you do is you got your memory stick so let's see if I can do that without tipping my PSP into the floor here oh, there we go <sighs> now I'm not sure if you guys know this but the reason why they call it jig kick PSP starts on its own check it out Left on its own. wait for it Boom. Okay. Now what you have here is press X to install. 38 M33. Circle to install original. Square to dump the NAND. And something else at the end there which says it's dangerous so don't do it. What you'll need is 80% battery charge in order for this to work. So don't do it if you have anything less. And now you press X. And I'll say a bunch of things, formatting flash, RAM, and I'll take a couple minutes to do this. I'll just let it record it, so that, like a minute or two, I'll take, I'll let it record it. The reason why I didn't press square is because I already had the NAND dumped earlier. So, no need to do that. I know it probably looks like a big blur to you guys. You probably won't see more. <laughs> Just because of the video here, I guess I didn't have it properly focused. But, trust me, it's actually saying real words here, so. Folks, don't worry about it. I did this with 3.90 was my official FOMO when I did this originally and now it's gonna and it flashed it perfectly to 3.80 I will have to put my gear steam back on but that's okay I'll just show you guys how it works so you guys aren't confused Okay, now up top here, it'll say install success, press X to shut down the PSP. So press X, done. Now, we're done with the battery here. We just put it back in the service mode tool. Had to go back to regular, done. Close that up. Hopefully, it doesn't decide to get popped out here. That would really suck. Okay, there we go. It's not a jig kick battery, so I won't start up by itself. It'll go to its custom settings here. Then you just scroll down to system settings. One second, folks. We'll give you. S and then you go to system information. And then. That says, because you can't really read it, but it says 3.80m33-5. Gives you some random nickname, don't worry about that, you can change it. And now you got yourself custom firmware, you can get games on it, custom themes. I'd show you my Gears one, but I had to reboot it with the flash. 
Thanks for watching, rate and subscribe, because I will be coming out with a video how to make a Pandora's battery if you do have a, um, if you do have a friend with custom firmware. Okay, thank you guys.